Hey guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at phishing emails and what is phishing email and how can we tell what a phishing email is and uh, basically different various types of phishing emails and uh, we're going to be looking at um, uh, an email client here, say Thunderbird, that's got some emails in it from my server. I've pulled a load of emails off the server. There's tons up there that are all got phishing content on them and I've just pulled some of them off just to show you the different various types of phishing emails and the sort of approach they're are taking towards capturing your information. So let's get started anyway. Thunderbird here and this has got all my phishing emails in it well not all of them but a good chunk of them and you can see different various types of phishing emails the amount of different various ways of they're trying to con you into getting your money so first off what is a phishing email well a phishing email is an attempt to uh, trick people into revealing their sensitive information i.e. their username password credit card data information uh, secret passwords rememberable names anything like that that they can capture to get your information and get you to log into their uh, fake site which will then get your information so they can steal your money or your identity or anything like that really so what types of phishing uh, emails are there well it's the conventional type which is like the mass scan uh, mass sending of uh, phishing emails to people at random just like bots send them out and then you've got targeted um, phishing which is actually targeted to one person and they will constantly try to lure that person into clicking on it and uh, there's that's the spear phishing really it's called but that's what you have gotta be watching out for really it's, if someone's targeting you you gotta be very careful now okay let's have a look at the actual different types here I've, I've sort of highlighted some of them into uh, favorites here so we can sort of get different various types this is the very latest one that's going around uh, at the moment it's called semantic and it's trying to lure people into clicking on it uh, to do an update and they'll get your information now obviously semantics probably got your information on their system and uh, maybe that's what their goal is to try and get that information um, off of you uh, so there's one from semantic another one here is from uh, a company here called Halifax which is a, like a building society come bank sort of thing and uh, as you can see here uh, it's got dear account holder so that would ring alarm bells to me straight away is because they're not naming me by my name now if that was my bank they would be talking to me as in my name my full name instead of account holder this is because they don't know who I am they're just sending this stuff out at random and they're hoping people will fall for it another thing to look out for is poor grammar I mean when you're looking at this type of uh, um, type in how here the, the actual word in here is is not done uh, the way it should be done the way a bank would do it uh, now if it was me doing it it would be just probably the same because I'm useless at that sort of uh, uh, type of stuff but uh, you get a general idea another thing to look out for is the link here itself if you look at the link it says confirm or it might say log on or log in or something like that if I hover over this without clicking on it and look down the bottom right and uh, left hand side here you can see that it's not going to that uh, halifax.co.uk site and this would be the same for any other type of company if that was going to that company that URL would be to halifax.co.uk forward slash whatever uh, part it would be okay as you can see it's not that at all so there's another telltale sign that it's a phishing sort of email really now you could actually right click on this and copy this link information and then open up a notepad and safely paste that in there okay so there you can see the actual information it's not Halifax at all so we know that's a phishing email never ever click on these uh, with your information or anything like that you're going to get infected uh, or it's going to steal your data your personal information and data and stuff so be very careful okay okay so let's um, carry on we can look at headers here as well uh, which is if you come down to actions here 
we can have a look at the uh, view source and have a look at the header itself the return path would be to there and uh, that's been sent to me as you can see and received from and this is the actual it's been received from this person here mail dot you can see that's nothing to do with the actual uh, halifax.co.uk at all so we know it's a fake and uh, that's exactly what you want to be looking out for okay so let's have a look at uh, account bonus this is a catalogue that we've got over here it's called Littlewoods uh, they've sent me one as you can see dear customer again they don't know my name they'll go through the actual word in here you can sort of route through this and uh, you can see log on to the same thing um, which is not this is Czechoslovakia I think CZ I think that's Czechoslovakia so that's come from uh, attention beneficiary another thing the way they word it is will be um, to try and lure you in it's if, if people think they're getting something they've won something there's more chance they're gonna click on it right and this is exactly what they do if you look at the attachment here as well never click on attachments if you don't know who it's from um, if you're expecting an attachment from a personal person that you know and it's a photograph and it's from them make sure they actually tell you that they're sending the attachments don't just click on attachments at all because you're going to end up getting infected um, as well so let's have a look at Barclays Bank this is another one uh, the way they word this as well is like a warning signs fear to make you click on it um, you either have one unread security message you might be panicking and thinking I've got a security message here I better click on it or it may be your account has been frozen or something of that nature to try and lure you to put your information in so if we click on this as you can see our valued customer don't know your name at all so they're just guessing who you are because they don't know who you are and then they'll get you to fill this form out and this will then send the information back to them and they would be able to steal your money now that if you are a Barclays customer I would advise you to either ring them up and then also or go to their main website yourself don't click on any links go to your browser and type in Barclays and log in the way you would log in and you'll find that it'll be totally different and if you put anything in here and submit it it will get sent anyway and that's because it's defaulted to be sent like that so look out for that type of stuff as well okay and as you can see here uh, memorable words um, your five digit telephone banking number banks are not going to ask you to do any of this stuff online um, they would write to you uh, so be careful another thing to be careful of is phone calls which is on the rise people getting cold called by banks or so-called uh, job hunters or anything like that and they want your personal information do not give personal information out on the phone uh, banks will not ask for it they will ask for um, your date of birth and stuff like that but if you don't wish to give it you can just say to me say to them that um, if you prefer I prefer you to write to me rather than talk to me on the phone I don't trust anyone because of the security risk and they'll understand you know or ring them then they'll give you a number and you can ring them back you see but make sure it is a Barclays number you know it's as simple as that so let's go through uh, some of this congratulations another thing as you can see here uh, cooperative bank is another bank over here UPS is another type of uh, or USPS shipping thing as you can see here uh, good news it's always something they want you to do like open the attached file and return your winning prize so they're trying to say you won something uh, open this attachment it's probably infected and uh, that will be that um, important another wording you see they're trying to use that again if you hover over the santander.co.uk it's not santander at all uh, it's another um, another name down the bottom there it's going to it's going to send all your details to him and that will be that tax refund is another common one that's been doing the rounds of late um, this one's not working very well it's probably an older one QuickBooks um, if we look at this now look this is another one that's quick uh, QuickBooks a lot of people use QuickBooks and uh, basically they want you to update your security tool if you click on here um, 
it's not going to be from them you're going to probably get infected or they'll get your information and uh, that's not a really good thing so um, ignore those just try and go through these as quick as I can NatWest here you can see is another banking type same thing really um, but basically as you can see the lists endless here really it's there's tons and tons of them and uh, Santander as you can see uh, all sorts of stuff you've won 90 million dollars all this sort of stuff okay so what I would suggest is uh, don't click on them uh, understand what it's all about if you do find yourself that you have put your details in and uh, you feel that you've been breached and you've got they've got your information then report it straight away and change all your passwords and your details immediately don't wait do it straight away okay that's probably your best bet and uh, we'll cover some uh, software that you can use to protect yourself uh, from this type of thing and you want to filter this out as much as possible and you should be uh, you won't be completely free from it but you should be a lot better off okay so that's about it for this video just wanted to go through some uh, different various types of email scams and phishing scams that are doing the rounds I know it's a bit long winded but I just wanted to get that point across because it's pretty prolific out there at the minute for uh, these types of emails so I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys hit that subscribe button and show support by rating and favouriting my videos and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future if you've got any video requests by all means send me a message on YouTube and if you haven't joined me on Facebook or Twitter yet then uh, go to my YouTube channel and you should see a link there so you can uh, follow me on there or, or like me on my Facebook page okay and you've got any problems with your computers then head over to the forums and I'll do my best to help you over there okay thanks again for watching guys thanks for your support bye for now